Welcome back all, little ones and family members. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hallelujah. I hope you all get up this morning. If you got a chance to tell Father God, thank you. I bless you all. Hallelujah. We all woke up this morning. We're truly blessed. Make sure you give Father God thanksgiving, honor, give him praise. Give him glory. It all belongs to him. It all belongs to him. And only him. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. Let us get right into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come here this morning to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, we say thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for who thou art. Thou art our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Your name is faithful and true. You're the one and only true God. There's no God before you, no God besides you, and there will be no God after you. Glory be to God. You are omnipotent. You reign it. You are in charge. You always have been. You always will be. I need how the victory. The victory is already won. It's only a matter of timing. It's your will, your way, your timing. And you and us and me and you, we have the victory. You and us and me and you, there ain't nothing we can't do. And you and us, you strengthen us, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I wouldn't say we pray. Father God, as we go through this day, help us to be mindful. Help us to be mindful that you see and know all things. Help us to be mindful of any and everything we say and do. How we treat others. How we live in. Are we being mindful that you are looking at us? You're guiding our steps and are we hearing you? Are we listening for you? Are we being obedient? Are we just moving along in our feelings? Why did God help us? Help each and every one of us, Father God. We need you. We can't make it without you. We love you, Father. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus over all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all of our family members, lovers, and friends. We ask to have the protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, our family members, lovers, and friends. We ask, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please bless all the listeners. All those in the body of Christ, our family members, love, our family members, love and friends. And we know no weapons form against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, as we go through this day, help us, Father God. Uh, guide us in our have your will, Father God. Have your will in our marriage, in our homes, in our children's lives, in the lives of our family members, loved ones, friends, strangers and enemies, in the lives of our grandchildren and great-grandchildren if we have any and the mothers and fathers of them of our children you know and grandchildren etc father god in my name jesus christ we ask that you please help us to guide our eyes heart mind and soul at all times because evil is waiting to pounce even at the door and we won't let him in no we strive for holiness and holiness only living in christ's life living a life of righteousness for your name's sake we proclaim jesus christ and he alone hallelujah yes we're going to strive for holiness and holiness only yes lord and we're not letting evil one in. He's not welcome. You know, light has absolutely nothing to do with darkness. And thank you, Father God, for bringing us from the dark into your marvelous light. And Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we know that we're not letting evil in. We're standing up. We're going to stand up for what's right. Righteousness only. For your name's sake. Evil's not welcome in our home. He's not welcome in our body. He's not working in our mind. He's not welcome in our soul. Not any part of our soul. Not any member of our body from head to toe. Evil's not welcome. And nothing connected to him. A holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin life was given for us to have life. Therefore, our lives don't belong to us. And our vessels are holy. Because our Father which are in heaven is holy. And these holy vessels belong to the Holy Spirit. And he alone... In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all who come to the truth. Yes. Because the truth shall set you free. And whomever the sun sets free. Is free indeed. If you want to start. Be in the live. We want deliverance Lord God. If you want us to. Strive and stay on that path of righteousness. For your name's sake. Strive to stay there. We call on you Lord. We trust you. We believe in you. Our faith is in Christ Jesus. The coming of the Lord. And we want to be counted worthy, Lord God, at your coming. At your coming, Lord Jesus, to be caught up in that rapture moment. Changing the twinkling of an eye to that glorious body. 
Fight that good fight of faith. Reign with you and live with you to eternity. We live here. But we're not of here. We have a home. Our home's in the heavenly kingdom with our heavenly fathers. And our vessels are holy. Our vessels are holy. Because our Father God in heaven is holy. Be ye holy for I am holy, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for you to comfort any and all all over the world. Including the saints. Many are in need of comfort all over the world. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for all, all the laws of abortion to be aborted right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the safe havens to be built and all the provisions to be made for them to be built in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for our president to do what is right. They lean not to his own understanding, but acknowledge you in all thine ways, so you may direct us past. And uh, may he be obedient and do your will, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we pray for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will, Father God, not ours, your will. We know that evil is running rampant, and you must do what you must do, Father God. We say, do come, Lord Jesus, though no man knows the day or the hour. But we know you're coming back, Lord. Hallelujah. And we say, do come, Lord Jesus. And Father God, as you do what you must do, please remember your children. Please remember us, Lord God. Please have mercy on your children, Father God. Have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, as you said, we know your word will forever stand and will not come back void. As you said, for the, the treasures that were stored up by the wicked and the rich, they be given to the poor and given to those whom you say for it to go to, Father God. And we say thank you, and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And anything or anyone, anything or anyone that tries to come up, block our blessings, block our prayers, put a stumbling block before us, accuse us, come up as an adversary in any way, shape, form, or fashion, we rebuke that evil spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we take it by and cast it out to a place that will never return. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will and say we pray. And Father God, for any that receive a blessing, because we know all good things come from one, how they come from you, Father God. They are a blessing, a true blessing. And any form of blessing that they receive, may any and all be obedient and do your will with that blessing that they receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will and say we pray. Father God, help us to love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please remove the spirit of unforgiveness from each and every one of our hearts, Father God. And burn it so we don't receive it again. And fill us with your Holy Spirit, so that we love with unconditional love, because you are love, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do, have done, and will do. And we pray for all these marriages, Lord God. We pray for these marriages that are, let us fight, no matter what, let us fight. It is, it's never, nobody said it's going to be easy. You didn't say it would be easy, Father, but we know that those that endure to the end shall be saved. Let us endure. And any and everything that we say and do, let every work and deed be done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us try. We must try. And I will make it. But we don't. We need you, Jesus. We can't make it without you. Hallelujah. We love you, Father God. We, we can never say enough thank you. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you, we exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise our holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day, all day. We glorify the holy name. To God be all the honor, praise, and glory. We love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And remember that our body belongs to you and only you, Father God. We say, use us for your glory and your glory alone. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. We love you with an everlasting love. We'll never forsake thee. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. We're going to seal this prayer to you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, with a holy kiss. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Well, if you haven't given your life to Christ, I don't know what you're waiting for. You have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Not only he's coming back, he's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. And if you're ready to do what is right and receive Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, then say this prayer. And don't just say it. Mean it from your heart that you're going to seek him in sincerity and truth with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Then please say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, 
the Son of God, I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy, sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life, live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you're not going to, you're not going to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you in your walk with Christ. And remember, it's not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God. A commitment and love. And Father God, thank you. And those in the body of Christ, we in the body of Christ, may we edify one another, pray with and pray for one another, pray without ceasing, fast, bear one another's burdens, give love and charity, because they cover a multitude of sin. And we in the body of Christ, we welcome you, my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. We love you, and Father God loves you more. God bless you. And for each and every one of us, let us all read the Bible daily. Go down on our knees in prayer and cry out to the Father. Hallelujah. He'll hear us. He'll hear you. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to go into scripture. And today, Father God has given me uh, John chapters 17, 17 through 18. I mean, 17 through 19, excuse me. And we shall read them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 17. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thy, thine were they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept the word. I'm going to go again with that. Hallelujah. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. 
Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may be hold that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Chapter 18. When Jesus had spoke these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Sidron, where was a garden, into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place where Jesus oft times resorted thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a hand of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. And as soon, so as soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it, and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malthus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him, and led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. Now Caiaphas was he which gave counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest, and went in with Jesus unto into the, plet, the palace, excuse me, went with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without, then went out that other disciple, which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the, that kept the door, and brought in Peter. Then saith the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, Art not thou also one of this man's disciples? He saith, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there, who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews also always resort, and in heaven, where the, Jesus, where the Jews also resort, and in secret, excuse me, Lord, have I said nothing? Why askest thou me? Ask them which heard me, what I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Answerest thou the high priest so? Jesus answered him, 
If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smitest thou me? Now Annas has sent him bound into Caiaphas, the high priest. And Simon Peter stood and warned himself. They said some, some there, some therefore unto him, Art not thou also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did not I see thee in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately the cock crew. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment, and it was early, and they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled, but, they, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out unto them, and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said, Unto him, If he were not a malefactor, we would not have delivered him up unto thee. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, saying, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all. For ye have a custom that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Chapter 19 Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers platted a crown of thorns, and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe, and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again, and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man! When the chief priests, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered them, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and saith unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have the power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? Jesus answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greatest sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, if thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king, speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth, and sat down in the judgment seat, in a place that is called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover. And about the sixth hour, and he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him. Crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. 
And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two other men with him, on either side one and Jesus in the middle. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the King of the Jews, but that he said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What have I written? What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts, to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said, Therefore among themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it. Whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which said, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then, G then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was a set of vessels full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. The Jews therefore, because it was a preparation, that the body should not remain upon the cross on a Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was in high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers, and brake the legs of the first, and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they brake not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bear record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith truth, that he might believe. For well, these things were done, that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again saith, Scripture saith, They shall look on him whom they pierced. And after this Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about an hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Jesus, and wound it in linen cloths, linen clothes with the spices, as the matter of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden was a new sepulchre, wherein was never man yet laid. There lay they Jesus, therefore, because of the Jews, preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand. Amen. I love you with the love of the Lord. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow. And love on one another. Please love. Father God is love. You must have love in your hearts. And if you have aught with anyone, please let it go. Please ask forgiveness and move forth. Let us all strive for holiness. Let us be mindful that Father God sees and knows all things. Let us be mindful of any and everything that we're doing and what we say and how we treat others, okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. God bless you. Also, the giveaway, uh, it's still going to go on. No man stops the show. Man doesn't have to say. God does. If you're interested in winning with the bag which I showed you, don't go and put it under the bag. Hashtag give God praise under the warning video or either under this video. Hashtag give God praise. 
I love you and you'll be entered. And the drawing will be Friday at 9 a.m. I love you all to love the Lord. You all have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. God bless you all. Bye-bye.